Duncan Fremlin here from Real Estate Homeward. I'm a broker in the city of Toronto and uh, just up here in the wilds of Northern Ontario thinking about life and my future in real estate. So no, I'm not retiring uh, right now. I, like I said, I thought about it and I was shocked at how my, how much of my personal identity was tied up in this job. Shocked. I had, I thought I could just kind of walk away from it when the time came, but I, I had a real sense of loss. I received an email from a long standing client the other day asking me about retirement. She has plans to do something in a couple of years and wanted to make sure that I was still going to be around. And as it happens, that's the second request uh, in the last 10 days or so that I've had about my retirement. So I just wanted to, I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of talk about it out loud. Uh, I know that there's a certain degree of, I don't know if it's pressure, but expectation that we are, uh, get to be a certain age and hey, you're supposed to retire. Well, real estate's not like many professions. It's more of a, I've always seen it more as a lifestyle um, than as a, an actual profession. It's not like it's a nine to five. It's, it's a job where I'm on pretty much every minute of every day and have been for over 37 years. So. Uh, that's the way I've always looked at it. And so to retire, I, I don't know what the parameters are going to be. Um, I know that uh, I always thought, you know, I always said 25 years ago that if, if I was going to retire, I'll retire when the phone stops ringing. Well, that hasn't happened yet. And then all the changes, technological changes came. And then I thought, well, I'll t retire when I can't do the technology anymore. Well, that hasn't happened. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll retire when my judgment is in question and here I've got 30 just 37 38 years experiencing uh, witnessing over many hundreds of transactions and every imaginable circumstance and um, uh, I'm thinking my judgments better than ever um, and then the funny thing is you know when I first started this job I sure needed the money I was coming out of music and and um, I was new, I was just learning how to do the job and how to get clients and stuff. And it was all about getting the next commission so I could pay my bills. But as time has gone on, um, I've certainly appreciated the money that I've earned, but it's been, the focus has shifted. It's now focus is on totally on the client and uh, alleviating all of the pressure that they must be experiencing when they buy or sell a house. Because like I said, I've been through hundreds of these and I know pretty much um, Malcolm Gladwell said one time that uh, it's um, our profession is fascinating and that he thinks a good realtor will know what's going to happen before the client even knows what's going to happen. There's a lot of truth to that. Um, not to say it's a predictable business because it certainly isn't, but there are some things that I can anticipate these days with the uh, agency law being the way it is when I get hired I'm really hired and working exclusively for that person at least that's the way I do my job so so no I'm not retiring uh, right now I like I said I thought about it and I was shocked at how my how much of my personal identity was tied up in this job shocked I had I thought I could just kind of walk away from it when the time came but I, I had a real sense of loss um, uh, any more than I can give up playing the banjo or singing songs. Uh, as long as the throat is working and the fingers are working and my brain is working well enough to do all these things. Anyway, I had to get this off my mind. It's been, I've been thinking about emailing my, my associates and clients and friends about this for some time. So thanks, Carolyn, for uh, giving me the nudge.